it's Miss Williams with your art lesson for the week. So, and Rhett's here with me too. Rhett, can you say hi? Hi, I've got candy. He's got candy. So, I know a lot of you have been stuck at home and you're probably getting kind of bored, but you know who else has been stuck wherever they are and they haven't been allowed to have people visit them is a lot of our grandparents. So, since we didn't get to have grandparents day, what we're gonna do this week is some grandparent things and in art, we're gonna make our grandparents some cards that you can mail to them. So that way, since you can't see them, at least you can let them know you're thinking of them and um, send, them a little, send them a little card. Here we go. So the first thing you're gonna do is put your hand on a piece of paper and you're gonna trace your hand. Now the thing you have to remember is to keep your fingers spread far apart. And don't keep them really close to you like this. Spread your fingers out like this. going to do is take your picture of your hands that you trace and you're just going to cut out your hands. Okay, next you're going to take one piece of paper and you're going to fold it in half so it looks like a card. You can use any piece of color of paper that you want. I'm using green so that way my card's really colorful. Okay, so on the inside of my card I'm going to glue my two hands. So one over here and one over here. I didn't have any glue right here that I could find, so I'm just using tape instead. Just take some tape and you can tape your hands inside of your card. Whatever supplies you have at home, you can use. We'll just make it work. So you're gonna take some pink or red paper and you're gonna draw a couple hearts on it. Then you're gonna cut these out. Then you're gonna glue your little hearts on. Glue them right on top of your hands like this. Doop. Doop. I don't have glue, so I'm just gonna tape mine on again. And then you're gonna go through and on each finger that's in here, you're gonna write something that you love about your grandparents. So it's gonna be 10 things that I love about you when they get this card. It'll have all the things in there that you love about them. You're gonna need your parents' help with this part. I'm gonna write mine in now. So when you're all done, you'll have 10 things written in here that you love about your grandparents. So on the front of your card, you're gonna write 10 things I love about you. You can copy what I write. So this is how you write 10 things I love about you. If you wanna copy this, you can pause the video right here. Otherwise, your mom and dad can help you. And then after you write it, you need to decorate it. Here we go. You can decorate the inside of your card too if you want to. So if you don't wanna make the card that I just showed you how to make, you can always draw a picture or make your own card and you can still mail that to your grandparents. It would even be cute if you put in a picture of you and your siblings, they would really like that. Okay, if you make a card for your grandparents and you want me to see it, which I'd love to, you can always email it to me at mwilliams at daytonchristian.com. Otherwise, Make sure to make something and send it off to your grandparents, even if it's just a colored picture or any kind of card you want. And if you have some extra time, there's lots of other older people that are stuck in nursing homes that can't have visitors. You could send some to them too if you have some extra time and you wanna spread some cheer. Have a good day, see you later.